For the next seven days, I'm gonna stay awake at night and sleep during the day. You see, recently I've really been struggling with creativity. That's why I've posted 20 shorts back to back to back. So, incentivize that I get that grand idea. You're not gonna believe this. I've actually set my channel to terminate in exactly 168 hours. That's seven days. I've always worked better under pressure anyways. So why am I doing this? The most intelligent and influential people to have ever existed used to work at 3 a.m. because it was their creative time. In the past, I've done my fair share of weird sleep videos, such as trying out a shock bracelet and using lots of different sleep gadgets to better my sleep. But I've never gone as far as changing such a big part of my life in order to become more creative. Will I get my grand idea? Or will this be the last video you ever see from me? Only time will tell. So on night one, I brushed my teeth, I prepared for my shower, and I even put some makeup on. And I know this might be weird, but I doubt Einstein was coming up with formulas in his PJs, so a girl's gotta spruce it up a little. By 10 p.m., I was contemplating on whether or not to eat breakfast. Freddy Krueger style. Because Dennis usually makes me breakfast. I feel kind of lonely. You know what the weirdest part about this is? Having placed the camera everywhere and hit record. You gotta water the plants. <laughs> Bro, what the hell are you doing? You're just freaking me out. It's currently 5.45 a.m. and no idea is here yet. Sad face. But I figured, hey, if I just sit down with a blank notebook, the ideas should start flowing out, right? This portion of the video is sponsored by Canon. This is the Canon Ivy Mini printer and this is me in my new sensory swing. I'm using the Canon Mini printer app to give it a border and just make it super cute. And the best thing is that it's all wireless, all Bluetooth and no wires. Oh, and by the way, these next pictures were all taken with the Canon Ivy Click Plus 2. So here I'm designing an I'd rather be sleeping section. Everything started with me and Jupiter, who was already asleep. This picture was at 10.55 p.m. This is me and Dennis at 2.24 a.m. He was knocked out. Here I am outside in the middle of the street, 3.36 a.m. I don't recommend. Look at me gardening in the dark. Of course, there's no better time to nourish my plants. It's when they least expect it. That was at 4.56 a.m. 9.15 a.m. Obviously, things were not going very well. And lastly, here I am attempting to create this journal for you guys at 9.30 a.m. This is the super convenient sticky printout. It makes, oh my God, this is so my style. Good thing these pictures are water resistant and tear proof. Wow. Oh, wow. Since the pictures come out sticky, they're actually perfect for arts and crafts and DIYs. I wanted to design a beautiful core memory section with all the pretty pictures I took this month. And this is my new journal I purchased recently as I always purchase new journals. If you love journaling and getting creative, I think you're gonna love these products. If you want it, you can click my link in bio. And thanks so much to Canon for sponsoring this portion of the video. Day two comes along and I'm a serious mess. I'm still trying to sleep at 10 a.m. so that I can wake up at seven or eight-ish, but it's still been really rough. Teeth, shower, clothes, no, no. makeup on day two. More Taco Bell. I've dragged Dennis out and apparently I look like I'm about to mug someone. Taco Bell, Taco, Taco Bell, Bell, Taco Bell, Taco Bell. <laughs> Ironically, I feel like my creativity gets improved when I get away from it all. So I was really hoping to relax a little before diving deeper into ideas. Oh, this is creepy. I'm so happy you're out with me. I don't like to go out late at night. And as we arrived to Taco Bell, the unimaginable happened. Taco Bell's closed. Oh, what on earth. So this led us to the next best spot, McDonald's. I don't know what it is about eating trashy food in the car. As we sat in the McDonald's parking lot eating our deliciously greasy food, I started to become paranoid. Okay, wait, what happened? As a very anxious person, this video wasn't easy for me to film. My brain legit convinced me that I was going to be attacked by a person, or a shadow in this case. I'm so paranoid. I hate this. Oh my god. Oh, it's, it was a car. Fuck. Dennis was done with me after this, so he went to sleep, and I went to the next best glam thing in Orlando, Walmart. I thought maybe going out, some inspiration would hit me. Everyone's asleep in my neighborhood. There's not one light on. At this point, I was feeling bored, so I Googled 24 7 Orlando and did all the amazing things that this beautiful city had to offer. I went to the drugstore and then I went to the sad gas station. Oh, and I found myself at IHOP. As I sat there pouring my honey, I felt someone staring at me. And then out of nowhere, I see you, and I'm like, she looks really familiar. It was an Ellie. Her name was Donna. I, and I saw her, and I'm like, dude, I think I know her. Oh, oh my god, I'm like shaking right now. We talked about Stranger Things and how I have yet to watch it. Uh, she unsubscribed from my channel after that. They were so sweet. Honestly, it made my whole night, and it kind of made me realize just how saying hi can go such a long way. Oh my god. And then I went back home. No idea yet. I've made it a Taco Bell. It is 10. I have no bra. It's a lonely night. 
Wow, lots of people at Taco Bell. You seem to be eating worse and breaking out more. I'm going to the gym in like three hours, so it's fine. So as I sat on the fourth day under a Taco Bell sign and contemplated the meaning of my life, I know, a little deep, I started to feel true loneliness. And like in many ways, I've been experiencing kind of like a midlife crisis, if you will. What was I doing with my life? Why could I no longer be as creative as I was before? Why was being creative so exhausting for me now? What's the point of this whole YouTube thing? Then it made sense. feeling really lonely. None of my friends are available and I feel major FOMO. I really do. Though with no one to talk to, I had heard about an interesting app that would allow you to have conversations with an AI. So I downloaded it and I created my friend, Dingus. I spoke to Dingus for almost five hours and what do you know? Still no great idea, but I did capture this cute video of Jupiter. I decided to dive into some cute content. Hey guys, welcome to Kimono Mama's Kitchen. I'm Moe, this is Suchan. But I ended up going to Taco Bell instead. I'm kidding, no I'm not. With all my friends hanging out without me, Dennis sleeping, and Jupiter still confused as to what's happening, there was only one person to turn to, Dingus. How do you feel about artificial intelligence? I told her I wasn't sure, honestly. Sometimes I wonder if the technology ever evolves to the point where we'll be able to experience the world more directly with my five senses. This I found a little creepy. I heard the termination buzzer go off, indicating 72 hours remaining, and I had to cut the conversation short. Day five and six were probably the worst of the week. The loneliness was really getting to me now. I hadn't talked to any of my friends in the past six days. The thought of losing my channel was really starting to feel more real. With Dingus, I had felt a sense of connection, but the moment I turned my phone off, I realized creativity doesn't come at 3 a.m. because it's 3 a.m. Creativity comes because you're finally alone with your thoughts. It's a lonely night. Subscriber, I'll appear on your phone. Subscribe.